Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's been a little over a year since I purchased this Zargis aluminum storage box. It's time to do a review. Let's get into it right now. This is my Zargis K470 40678 aluminum case. I use this for overlanding. I've had it for a little over a year. It's been on quite a number of off-road trips of all different kinds. It's taken a lot of abuse. It's come out shining. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's uh, in perfect condition. There's really no signs of wear other than a few scrapes and scratches. Uh, when you get these, they don't have all the stickers on them, obviously. That's something I did. Uh, when I got this thing out of the box, I wanted to do a review right away on it, and I can't do that because I need to use something for a good long time before I can honestly give you a good opinion about what the quality of the product is. Uh, it's been long enough since I got this. When I, when I got it out though of the box, I knew it was a high quality product. It's sheet metal. I've been a sheet metal worker for 40 years. So this ticks all the boxes on what makes a, a sheet metal product a good sheet metal product. I'm a little tired of plastic stuff. Plastic is great, does all kinds of stuff for us. Uh, I wanted a metal box. And there's a lot of good reasons for having a metal box also, and I'll get into them. This video isn't sponsored, but I will have a link in the description of this video to my blog post on my website where you can use that link to purchase a, a Zargis case. I do get a small commission. It will not raise the price of the product. And I also have a coupon code where you can get 10% off. And I believe it's free shipping on this case. It's a great deal. Help out the channel, help me out. Purchase one of these with using the link that I'm gonna supply down in the description. And I'll probably put a link in the comments section too. So that, that being said, Take a quick break from the video, ask you to give me a thumbs up, like the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. If you're finding value in the video, leave a comment down below. That really helps uh, YouTube notice my videos and helps me grow the channel. Thanks very much. Before I get into all the great qualities of this Zargis case, let me just show you to compare a couple other cases that I have here that I've used. And I've used a lot more, 50 years of, of camping. Um, I've had occasion to use quite a few storage boxes from homemade plywood ones to uh, homemade sheet metal ones I've made uh, working in a sheet metal shop. Here's one very common or ones like it. Uh, they still have a place around the house. Put your Christmas ornaments in, throw it in the garage or in the uh, attic or the basement. I have one of these I use for my barbecue grill. Uh, I'm going to hopefully replace that with a, a Zargis soon. Obviously, they're not going to keep out a bear. Bear comes into your campsite. This is definitely not a place where you're going to want to have your uh, all your tasty snacks and your your oils, sugar for making coffee and all that. Um, it's going to be destroyed. It's going to be all over. The bear is going to learn. Campers are a great place to find a meal. You want to have something that's durable. This is not going to be it. Uh, Nothing's worse than when something breaks out on the trail. This is an awesome case. This is a 7.62 millimeter ammo can. Fantastic for holding ammo. Uh, I have my EcoSafe toilet tank in here, and this is a great containment for that EcoSafe toilet tank. Uh, it's heavy, it's very durable. Obviously, it doesn't have a lock on it. It's not IGBC bear rated. One of the things about this is, is the weight of it, and if you were to put a bunch of stuff in it, it's gonna get even heavier. Ammo cans are great. Most of us don't have a trailer, like I happen to have a trailer. We're worried about every pound, every ounce, not have something super heavy, we can help it. Something like that bouncing around can do a lot of damage to other things too. When I take it with me, it's strapped down. I was able to fit the stuff I had in two front runner boxes, plus some other stuff into this Sarge's box. These front runner boxes are, are really popular. Nothing wrong with them. They're awesome for what they are. Now what I use these for, I got a couple of the higher tops. I could put about a box and a half of, of uh, firewood in here. Uh, I don't have to carry those cardboard boxes with me that the firewood comes in and have to worry about disposing them or hauling them around. These boxes are a lot easier to haul around, especially once they're empty of the firewood. This front runner box with a normal lid, I use this for all my pots and pans. I don't keep anything scented or any type of food or anything like that inside any of these, these boxes. These boxes, it's all over. You get a bear, uh, not gonna stop them. They're gonna rip this thing apart and and uh, it's gonna be all over. All your stuff's gonna be all over. It's gonna be a mess. So why should you have a bear resistant, rate, a bear rated uh, box or a cooler when you're going out into bear country? First of all, bear country is a lot of places that you don't think it is. There are bears all over the place. Um, there's small bears, there's big bears. Obviously there's no grizzlies left in California. Um, although somebody told me they're making a comeback, but you wanna have a bear resistant place to store your food and scented items. I'm talking, when I say scented items, I'm talking about makeup. Uh, I'm talking about uh, sunblock. 
with with a that's scented. I'm talking about anything your snacks that you have in, in in while you're for while you're driving that you have in the center console. All that stuff needs to come out of the vehicle. And all that stuff needs to be put into a bear resistant container. Um, I get into a, a lot of places where it's bear country. Uh, if you're in certain parks, it's absolutely necessary that you either hang your stuff from a tree, have, have a small bear vault. Um, most of us, when we're overlanding, we're going to be carrying a lot more stuff than a hiker is going to be carrying. And we're not going to be able to use one of those small bear vaults. You're going to need a container that's that's IGBC bear rated to satisfy the rules in the parks, national parks and other parks, and also to, to just keep your stuff plain safe. Um, there's two things. You don't want the bear coming in and grabbing, finding your human food and destroying it, and that ruins your, your camping experience because now you, you got a big mess on your hands. Um, the other thing is, too, you don't want the bears to come in, find your food, and learn that campsites are a, a great place to get a, a meal. And what happens with that is the bears become what they call nuisance bears. And what happens with a nuisance bear, it ends up having to be euthanized. Um, it's not cool. Uh, it's also, if you're a bear comes into your campsite and interacts with the humans, uh, it could be bad for the human, right? Uh, bears are pretty pretty strong. Um, they'd more than likely be going after your food. But with this case, when you put some couple padlocks on the front of this case, this thing is about as bear resistant as something can be. Really well constructed. I know a, a good sheet metal product when I see one. This bead on the bottom keeps the actual bottom of the case off the ground a little bit. Top of the box, it also has a nice thick aluminum bead here. This bead here is a stiffener bead. A lot of spot welds. Hinge on this box is a full width stainless steel hinge. And look at the quantity of rivets. These latches are tested. 100,000 openings and closings. These corners here, an additional stiffener. It's also a place if you want to stack these boxes, they'll interlock together very well. The lid. Got a nice foam gasket. It's incredibly dust resistant and incredibly moisture resistant. Very stout handles. Five nice solid rivets on the handles. Some of the animals you need to worry about when you're out camping aren't the four-legged ones or the two-legged ones. Uh, it's a nice nice bit of confidence to know that you got something nice and solid. Zarges is lightweight. In fact, for a box of, of similar strength, it's 50% lighter than one of those plastic overlanding boxes. It will hold 15 to 20% more than one of those over, those plastic overlanding boxes will because when you make those boxes out of plastic to make them more durable, they have to be thicker. And sometimes you've seen them, they're almost like double walled. Uh, that takes up a lot of room and that makes the box a lot heavier. That's a big advantage to having an aluminum box. The other thing is too, this is totally customizable. If you want to attach this to your roof, there's corners that go right on your, on your attach right to your roof rack, so you can either permanently mount or you know make it easy to put the, take this on and off the roof. Uh, it's fantastic for that. There's also foam available, pre-cut foam, pre-laser cut, or you can DIY some foam. They have DIY kits. Um, you make the foam exactly the way you want to make it for carrying uh, carry anything from camera gear to drones to uh, rifles, uh, uh, pistols ammunition uh, there just can be used for so much and if you're really interested in the ultimate storage for your 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 valuable stuff these are just are, are it uh, it can be used for a, a lot of other things too there's at least 50 different models not all of them are IGBC bear rated um, this one is and there's a few other several other models that are uh, bear rated um, as overlanders or campers um, we might be interested in having at least one uh, IGBC rated container to take with us while we're out camping. Um, for all the, all kinds of other stuff, uh, you can outfit these, and they would be fantastic for uh, for any other kind of uh, gear you have that requires the ultimate level of protection. Um, there are other accessories available for these boxes as well. For instance, there's a bamboo cutting board. That fits right on top of, of the cases. There are casters that go on them to make them more mobile, uh, especially handy when you have the bigger ones. Um, this one here, I can load it up and, and carry it around pretty easily. Uh, it's a real nice size. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. And don't forget, the best is yet to come.